Hey everybody, this is the White Man 1992 again. Um, I'm just gonna record a bit more. We're gonna go up to the castle now. See, you should always check patches of flowers because there might be hidden treasure in them. And you gotta love hidden treasure. Hidden treasure is the shiznit. Alright, but there were, there were no treasures there. I just deceived you, ah ha ha! This will be our knight commander. Yeah, so he refuses to believe it because he hasn't heard it personally. Yes, way to talk to your commander. But you can. You can. You have the technology. What technology does he have? I'm not sure, but he has the technology. I think this... This person here would be Yuria. And one of the generic brown-haired guys, uh... Out yonder would be Jack. You can talk to them to get a little bit of dialogue, but it's not really that important. See, in this dresser, we find a potion. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and downstairs, we got a swing wing and an escape. A swing wing is like the warp spell that Artea used earlier. Uh, you can pretty much go to any town you've visited before. And an escape can get you out of a dungeon instantly. See, this is the princess's room. We find a stuffed bear and a bracelet. Hmm. Oh, the princess has a teddy bear. How nice. See, now back out here is the princess. Yeah, see, the rumor worries her. Princess Estia, huh? This is, I think this is the only time we actually learn the princess's name is if we do this optional dialogue. Yeah, I'm gonna go all by my onesie. It's not gonna go well. Wow, oh, all the princess can give me is a hundred gold. That kind of sucks. But hey, it's a hundred gold. I can't complain. See now downstairs here and here again, we have sweet water, an antidote, and another revive. So. That was worth it. And then... This would be the throne room in here. Um, yes, there's a king. Good deal. Um, Alright, that would be all the looting I can do in Alethia. So, I'm gonna head out of the castle and... do some shopping before I leave for Shrine. I'm not going to visit the item shop because, eh, big deal, items, I don't need them right now. Right. So I'll definitely buy a dagger, because it's much stronger than the knife, by like six points there, so definitely worth it. And so, our old equipment, uh, the stuffed bear, I have no idea what it does, I think you can use it in battle for no effect. At least that's all it's done for me, so I'm gonna sell it. The bracelet I'm going to hang on to, even though it sells for 45 gold. And the dress I'm going to sell, because it's 60 gold. Come on now. Even though Zach can't put the bracelet, I'm pretty sure there's a party member who can. And then we got the armor shop. Um, they sell nothing for me, so I guess on that note, it's. To Sharan we go. To the world map. Yes, this is the world map. Um, I've not gotten into a random battle yet. Oh, oh, one step outside the town. Thanks, game. Oh, these are big newts, no problem. They've got nine or ten health, one of the two. They're really just there for nothing. <laughs> Uh, now here in Chatham, there are some secret treasures to find. We have a great potion in this patch, which raises strength, and a mind potion, which, as you can guess, raises intelligence. Um, strength is obviously used for physical attacks, as would be the logical idea there. 
and uh, intelligence is used for magic. And we get a smoke ball, which is uh, used to instantly escape a fight. Oh, one big nude. I'm so scared. Yay. Uh, well, that cave obviously goes somewhere, so we might want to check that out. But right now, I want to go into this cave. Ooh, spooky music. Oh no, a jellyfish. Oh no, something that doesn't die in one hit fish. And unfortunately in this game, you do not have targeting or auto-targeting. You hit randomly into a group, and if that group is gone and somebody else is targeting it, they will still attack that group and miss because nothing is there. It's really kind of, you know, sucky. Oh, hey, a mad shroom. Also something that doesn't walk, die in one hit shroom. Ah, two hits. No big deal. And we level up. Oh, that actually looks like a nice well-rounded level up, unlike some archer I could mention in some other game. Not naming names, though. Ooh, 200 gold. And a potion. Uh, I'd say that was well worth it. Considering the princess only gave us 100, and we found 200 randomly lying around, definitely worth it. Ah, uh, another big nuke. Big deal. <laughs> yeah, I know I said in the first video something about editing out random battles, but, uh... No, I don't think it's a good idea. Because this game's encounter rate is so high, editing out the random battles would just be too big of a part of <laughs> recording, and it would deter me from recording a lot at a time, or a lot at all. So I'm just going to record as is, because I mean really the random battles are the essence of Luka. You've got so damn many. Oh, hey, a spider, that's nice. Oh, it didn't die. There we go. That's a dead spider. Uh, turn up these stairs, and... Ooh, a castle. I wonder where that could be. Oh, snap, sure am. This guy doesn't look too good. He even knows where we came from without saying a word. But yes, taking his advice is definitely the way to go. As we trudge back through the cave, very, very slowly. And we head back toward Alecky. Uh-oh. Oh, I got a surprise attack on the big newts. That's just insulting. <laughs> you could have ambushed me and it wouldn't matter. But hey, whatever. Alright, back in Alekia. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Roman. Yeah, huh? I wonder why. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'll take a rest before uh, talking to Alekia, because that could be pretty scary, more scary than any of the monsters we've fought so far. Yes, Lupia. Never? Yes, yeah, says you. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh, see, you don't talk about the pie that way. You can't compare the two! Whoops. I know this game too well. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Well, I think I'll actually head to the church and say it. Oh, right, Roman still wants to talk to her, Roman, or whatever the hell you call him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, on the note of dangerous territory, I will be right back.